Alrighty folks, welcome back to whatever it's called, Circuit Brawl. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot the name of the game. Um, we did four levels last time, I think. Yeah, we did four. We still haven't gone back to death. We'll go back there later. Um, later still. And today we are going to start with Chimney. Chimney, okay. Oh gosh, it's this structure again. Oh no, that makes me unhappy. <laughs> Same structure that's in depth. Okay, so there's a thing in there that wants to be nudged. That this is all connected. Upwards, and then it's never coming back down afterwards, okay? So it's like a one-way toggle mechanism. And if that is pushed upwards, then... If that's pushed upwards... Ooh, how does this connect? Are these all connected to this? I guess so. That's not like a... They're not disconnected there. Yeah, if they were disconnected, it would take a different route around. So that must be, they all need to be pressed. Therefore, basically never hit this upwards. Is that what we're saying? That is there simply to stop me from doing a certain move, it seems. Okay. This seems quite similar to depth in some way. Um, okay, so, and once again, yeah, we need four blocks. One, two, three, one up there. And there's my three. And what's the problem? I mean, there are gonna be lots of problems, right? Uh, let's do this. Let's attempt to push them down. Never push up, never push up. That's fine. Mm, but then what? Okay. Okay. Okay, so <clears throat> if I'm pushing a block here, let's say it's wooden, it has to be pushed by something else. So there's something else is going to be there. The, the wooden block that's here is going to move left. And then this, this is going to be a wooden block here or, or another block, a metal block. If there's a metal block there, then how do I extract it back out? I mean, that's going to be the fundamental issue here, isn't it? Like, whatever has pushed the other one down needs to come back out. That does seem like a fundamental issue. Does it need to? I mean, so we don't have to split all of these up, right? Um, we don't have to split all of these up. Let's say we sent a single bit of wood there and then two joined together. Well, those would have to be pushed down somehow. So yeah, once again, by a metal block. Although, is it possible to have, we've got one, two, three, four, five. If they're going in here, something's gonna be broken. Um, can we use this door? Although I can't really use that door, can I? Without putting stuff on all these things. I guess I can use this door to split some of the blocks without breaking them. But no, I guess not. Um, in theory, one, two, three, four, metal block here, nudge left, metal block can come right. Oh, can it? No, because I have to nudge the next ones down. So no, then the metal block would be here. So you need five, but I can't, I clearly can't separate all of these. No. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, so how else can something go down here and then me not have a problem with this one? Uh... <laughs> uh, uh, something's gonna go there and when something's there that's going to be empty therefore something else has to go there how does how does, how does anything move downwards well potentially by being hit by a wall but that's not going to happen because the nearest wall that could nudge downwards is like up here yep 
So therefore, they uh, therefore they've got to be pushed down by the metal block. So how do I get the metal block back? That is the question. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four. I mean, if I leave any of these more than too wide for the problem. So I'm at most having four blocks like this or four block uh, or three blocks like this. If that's the case, how on earth do I extract stuff out of here? Also without nudging upwards. Well, unless I stand here so that the door opens. Oh, it doesn't matter. That's connected anyway. Yeah. Okay. So again, no nudging upwards. Well, okay. What if I don't need the metal crate back? Somehow. Oh, okay. Yeah. So what if the metal crate is just one of the ones down here? So that there's a wooden crate here. Yeah. What's wrong with that? What is wrong with that? Anything? Is that fine? Oh, we're going to have a similar problem to depth. We are, aren't we? Mm. I can't nudge this wall leftwards. I could have done this instead. Oh, sorry, block. Uh, sorry, block. <laughs> Uh, okay, can you get out of the way? Thank you. Do that, but then can I get, no, because that one's going to be dead. This is very similar to the other one. Uh, that's not what I meant to do. That's, yeah, then I can't do that without it coming down. Unless there is a way for me to do that. Is there a way for me to stop you from moving when I push down? Maybe. Uh, okay, is this is this like what I was trying to do in the other one? Because I could have not split those. Okay, back to here. You go there. You're gonna go like this. Uh, that's bad. Um, I think I can deal with this. You go here. You go here. You go there. You go across. <laughs> so now you do that. Wait, why did I do it that way? I guess I wanted to do it actually like this. No. I want a way of punching down without. So I, I want like. Ooh. I want like metal. Maybe I wanted to keep two together here. So this feels like I'm going to be doing something that I did in a different puzzle. So two together. Mm, I'm not going to end up. Am I going to end up with enough blocks? Maybe. Uh, oh, this is a problem though, because then I don't have the ability to. What I'm thinking is that. Wait, but that's fine. No, it's not fine, because those are stuck together. Right. Right. Did I break anything unnecessarily here? What if those have still been three stuck together? If I could do that, would I be able to release this one? I don't think so. <clears throat> this sticking up a little bit further than that is making me think that I'm on the right lines here. Like I need to put wooden block here using this crate, get this crate away from, but no, I'd have to punch this crate. So that's never going to work, is it? Unless I am, ooh, unless I'm here. Oh, that's kind of interesting. Oh, 
Hold on. Hold your horses. What am I having to do? What am I having to do? Back to work. Okay, when you were there, there, I want to punch down, but you're there, so that I've got to hit a wall. Could I like somehow wedge these in so that they stop you from moving? How would that happen? Well, if they were the other way around, yeah. So do this one. I don't want to get the metal box stuck yet because I still need it to do stuff. So you go here. Uh, I can get the metal box back, that's fine. Um, mm, well, that's just going to keep coming back down, isn't it? Okay, well, that's fine. Is it? I don't know. <laughs> you go here. Now we lift this up. Da, da. Now we bring you this way. And again. And then you here. And then that. And then that. So wait. If I do that, why don't I just push these away? Because I can't. Can I? Bring it down here. Uh, I mean, I can also just break them. Is this like resolvable? <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> that means this might be resolvable. Uh, uh, oh, we've done an upwards motion. When did that happen? Ages ago? Yeah, ages ago. I guess we need to lift this up now. Okay. Upwards motion bad. Upwards motion bad. You go there. You go there. Push that in. Do this. Okay. No upwards motion has happened. That feels pretty good. Now, if I can split this apart, which I think I was probably on the right lines. Four. Um, I can do that to try and split these. I think this is solvable at this point, right? Is it? <laughs> no upwards motion. So this is this is bad. Uh, well, that that wasn't bad, <laughs> but that's bad. Okay, so no upwards motion. So don't push them that far down, but I have to. Can I somehow get? He's out without doing that. Well, the bottom one would never come upwards, would it? Would it? Without an upwards hit. Okay. Wait, I could break that now. Okay. Mm, but then you're stuck, yeah. Okay. Uh, can I, like, nudge these down? I can while I'm in here, right? Oh, but then that comes down. Oh, but not if I, well, not if I put the metal where it won't go. Uh, but I could do, no, that's exactly what I did already. Mm, yeah, I don't want that. Yeah, I feel like I have to do this. And that's why this little corner's cut out. I can somehow get out of this, right? Ooh, like that. Can you come back? Yes. Yes. There we go. This is better. We still haven't punched up. Yes. Maybe I'll do this one first. 
Okay, okay, this is good. You go in there. I think I have solved the puzzle. Not, I can't, I can't do it by itself, but we can put you there and we take this back away. Uh, we might push you down to there. Okay. Alrighty. Pretty sure I've seen the rest of this down here, this way, this way, this way, up, this way. Along we go. Down we go. Left, there, and we're done. Yay! <laughs> that was neat. Oh, there's another information thing. Congratulations, you have reached your step goal. Oh, yeah. Be sure to take more steps for an even better workout. Thanks for playing. <laughs> Are you suggesting, is that like the initial ending if you get to a thousand? Uh, okay, <laughs> such a weird structure. It's based on the number of steps I took in each level. Uh, anyway, dissolve is next, I guess. Dissolve. Uh, oh gosh, this is very um, shackle-like. This is very shackle-like. Okay, so that toggles those two doors, and then there's another one there that's going to toggle those two doors. What are we saying? How do I how do I even read this? That's like a thing with shackle is that there's always a stage of like just trying to pass the level, especially with some of the bigger levels. Okay, what? Okay, so there's no pushing that north, I think. These doors don't really do anything for wall connectivity, no. So, it, like, to get through here, that door would have to be open. I can get, can I get you away? Not really. No, that's just worse. I mean, I could do that and then bring you up. But maybe that's necessary. Who do I want to be on that? I don't know. You can be on it. So this is, okay, there's going to be some like, what's the weird interaction between blocks and doors that you want me to learn? So that, so something being on there is going to close my exit and then I can't get rid of that without it being a wooden block. So is that going to be the thing here that I need the wooden blocks beyond that X? Also, I do need that to change so I can go through. So I go through. Why this down here? Well, that needs to be open. Then I need to like break this. Okay, that seems fine. Does it seem fine? Um, so I see an issue, which is that you need to get out of the way. And maybe you just go upwards into that little alcove above the red door. So can I like do, uh, good job. Can I do this? Somehow be, I guess I can open the blue door. But that won't make that go up. I'd have to be in here while, oh, I'm not sure that's ever gonna be possible. But that does have to get out of the way. That's why it's called Dissolve. When Dissolve... Well, actually, I thought of two reasons it might be called Dissolve. One is that it looks like the level is dissolving over here. But also, I think it's dissolved because I'm going to dissolve this wooden crate while I'm in here. Because if it's that crate, then I'm definitely never getting through. Yeah. Okay, so how do I get rid of that crate? I'm pretty sure it had to be there at this point. Can it come left? Can it go down? It can't go down. Can it go left? Only if I'm over there somehow. But I wouldn't be because I haven't gone past you yet. So no, that's got to go forwards. Um, now, I don't want to destroy that. I can do that. Is there some way while I'm here to get something back on that X? From here, yes. I could punch this, but that's not the right place I'd want to be. I'd want to be here. Uh, I can hit this down. Aha, that's exactly what I want. Okay. Um, do I care which one it is? Do that. 
Oh, yeah, okay, now I can do this this way. Okay, that's a lot more free. Let's do this. Then let's just, oh, why am I doing that? Do this. Uh, that. So then you're going to go through instead. I'm going to go there. Then I'm going to release this. Am I not done? Uh, yes. <laughs> okay, so this is really surprising when these levels are easy. <laughs> Especially when depth is so hard. Sculpture. Hmm. So that opens that, that opens that, and then there's another one in there to open that. What? Because I'm going to carve this sculpture into the right shape. Perfect. Okay, so what's the what's the trouble? Obviously the trouble right now is that these are all far away from each other. What's the trouble with getting stuff through here? Is there any trouble with getting stuff through here? Not really. I just take something in, put it there, go. If those two things were pressed, and why can't they be pressed? Why can't they be pressed? That seems very doable. There's clearly some issue with just doing this. You go there. Ah, is it that I can't like push? Oh, that's so sneaky. It's such a subtle way to make it that I can't push this right. Ha. Huh. Well then maybe I'm pushing you through. And then what? That's so sneaky. Uh, okay, so over here, if I hit this wall, okay, that wall does very little. If I do, if I hit, is there any wall I can see in here that I could potentially do some interesting effect with? I was kind of thinking a rightwards effect, but. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe, like, is there some structure I could hit leftwards that would land on this? I could be using this wall instead. So like a three tall, one, two, three. But again, that would be blocking my way through here. Uh, okay. Something about this zigzaggy path though, there's something interesting about it. It's like, it's like I wanna hit something from here, up. Then use the door to nudge something that way or something like that. Oh, interesting. Well, if there were two here that I nudge left, nudge up, hit the door, and it goes in there. I'd have to remove something from this, but maybe that's doable from in here? Or oh, there's this wall. Oh, that's totally what we're doing. Okay. <clears throat> Although nudging down isn't going to do what I want. Down is the only thing I could do. Although left is something I could do, because this would be closed. Left and get something off there. That seems unreasonable. But down also wouldn't do it. Like something would have to be here. In fact, yeah, how would I push something off this remotely? I wouldn't. Like whatever pushes it would replace it. Uh, not true if we're like connected to something. Okay, so maybe, maybe one, two, three up here, nudge down. Okay, so that's three up here, two here. Maybe. Three up there, two there. Is that not just uh, 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 not sure that way? Do that, do that, do you can just be there, right? Isn't this fine? What's wrong with this? Put that on there. 
Nudge down to release that. Nudge up, do that. Nudge left, do this. It's totally fine. Oh my gosh, it's scary when they go well. <laughs> I guess I'm trying another one. I'm concerned that these are on a little branch out to the side. So I might actually go this way. Gentle push. Yes, let's do that. Ooh. Okay, it's ice. And when ice hits the wall, it does a nudge. Okay. What are we saying? Okay, I sort of see. It's got to end up on there. But like I can make it hit me is the thing. Okay, so I do this and then that. Yay. Okay. <laughs> Okay, that was very short, so maybe I should do it. Okay, I'll do another one. Rearrange. Oh dear. What on earth is happening here? <laughs> what have I walked into? Okay, those two can open. So to open the final gate, the one down there has to be pressed, but also this has to be pressed for me to get even close to that other door. So to be clear, this opens this, this opens this. That's kind of the two things that need to be open for me. I, I need to pass through those. Uh, I'm imagining one of them is going to be... Uh, no, I don't know, actually. So we've got an ice and we've got a block. I noticed one of the X's is, is there, but that could be a sneaky trick. That is totally going to be a sneaky trick, is it? So if that X is pressed, that door closes. So I don't want to be in there when that's pressed. Mm hmm Okay. We also have a block in there that we just can't get right now. I can nudge it out and around quite a lot, but I can't get it out. I can if I do this, uh, but then I can't move it that way. So for that block to become free, what would we have to do? I'd have to be in there? Uh, how does ice react with... Well, some not... Oh, in fact, I can just test how ice reacts with blocks here. Okay, so it continues pushing the block. That's interesting. Uh, I presume that's... It will push it any distance. Yes. Okay. That's quite surprising. I thought it might like slide and hit it and then nudge it one space or something, but no, it just continues it the whole way. Is that the only way that block in there is coming out of there? Yes. So what am I saying? Like this has to go, I do this. And I do this, I do this, I do this this. I can bring this out. Okay. What have I achieved? Anything? <laughs> I've swapped a block for a block. <laughs> I guess I've got that open. So I've retained the block. I, so I basically opened that without losing the block. Okay. I mean, maybe that's good. Why would it not be good? So then the next issue is that something has to end up on here without me getting stuck. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, what? <laughs> Something's got to end up on there without me getting stuck. Oh dear. And then the other thing is that, like, that's got to be pressed. Clearly there's something else I'm doing with this. Is there? Maybe there's not. The only reason for the alcove above it is to stop me from nudging it back out, I guess. But I could have put ice there and then nudged it back out. But if I'd done that, I would have had a Problem. Uh, that's not true. Okay, okay, there's another idea. I don't know if it's the right idea, but do this. And then do this. And then put you up there. I can go in. And I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I can make you come down. I can bring you out. Okay. Oh, ooh, no, I can't. Is there any other way that could happen? So that nudges that because that's all joined and that's never going to change. So there is an animation speed up if you tap multiple things. But not really on moving? I mean, on moving it's really slow to catch up. Like it is there, but it's really slow to catch up. Like if I tap things, like I'm still moving for like, seconds afterwards. 
That is, so I, I understand the method that's being used there. It's uh, add inputs to queue, uh, depending on the length of queue, speed up turn. Um, but it really needs to like start catching up a lot faster. Um, if not like instantaneously, like a lot of games just end up, well, a lot of games just didn't do anything. So this is better than that. But, um, oh, interesting. I can like, can I like put you back somehow? Oh, maybe I can. <sighs> Interesting. Not if you end up there, but like... Uh, oh, no way. But how would I get... No, I can't... No. I mean, I can make the... Can you go up. But can I get the ice below you? No. No, right? No. I mean, these are now basically stuck. <coughs> that would be kind of fascinating, though, if that's possible. So the problem is getting that one back, but I'd have to somehow carry it all the way up to, like... Because they'd have to go, like... It'd have to be pushed by ice up to here. And I just have to go in. So I have to go right. That's just not going to happen. Yeah, that's not going to happen at all. Okay. So they're going back in. They're going back in inverted, which feels not great. I mean, I don't know how any of this helps me. So I guess the thing I need to figure out is like, okay, so this thing, how are you going to get pressed? If I just send an ice it's going to land here. Unless there's something behind it, which is maybe the thing. Um, if I push a crate in, it's going to be on there, but I'm going to be stuck. Unless I will like out here, but I can't be. So I'd be stuck at that point. Um, this can't nudge rightwards. In fact, so yes, if anything ends up here, it's stuck there. That's good to know. So... Oh gosh, why did I start another one? Uh, I almost feel like I need all three things. I almost feel like I do. Which I have, right? Wait, hold on. What's the issue? You go here. You do this. You go in. So the problem is that this unpresses that. Uh, let's nudge that to the right first. This one presses that. And I can't, I can press it again very temporarily. But I can't move during that time. That will continue all the way to the bottom. So. So. What if they were the other way around? What would that mean? Well, I just have a block stuck there, right? Well, I'd be able to, ooh, no, that'd be interesting. That'd be good because I'd be able to nudge the ice back out with a nudge the ice back in. Okay, that feels pretty good actually. But then I don't think I'd ever be able to get that block back, right? Maybe I'm wrong, so we'll, we'll continue with the thoughts. You go there, you go there. Oh, the door's still open, right? But is this any different to what I've done? I still can't get you back. Yeah, you're never going to get nudged down further. Okay. We're saying this is definitely not solvable with only two. You don't really matter. I can go in, I can put something there. That's fine. You, however, are a problem. Like, something's got to go in there while I'm out here. It's going to have to be ice. You're going to have to stop. There's got to be something behind you. I need all three things. I think I need all three things. And how does that happen? Well, the only way to have this pressed down and to have not lost whatever's pressing it down is for it to be the block, the gray, the, the metal crate with the ice behind it. So then you're somehow telling me that there is a way Can I do, can I just like do the whole thing out here? If 
If only that weren't hitting. Oh gosh, what am I doing? I'm in the door of his bed. Okay. Then I can't leave. And there's definitely no way I'm maneuvering that ice under that. Right? How would that ever work? I think at this point they're stuck. Okay. Okay. So not that. Oh, but that now I can bring the ice down. That's cool. But um, is it useful? Isn't that thing just stuck? I can send this all the way around. Is that useful? And now everything's okay. Hmm, can I get that elsewhere somehow? Is there a way for me to get the ice on this without the thing behind it? I'd have to punch downwards and it, the ice to hit me, which I don't see how that would happen. No. It'd be interesting to make a game where the ice, once ice is pushed, it can keep pushing the player, so the player can end up somewhere different. Oh, we're back here. Uh, so wait, what did I do that was interesting? I don't know. This is the stuck position, right? So come down. I did something interesting, but what was it? I guess I just got you in the corner. Mm. Which I can also do by doing this. No, I can't. Right, yeah, you'd have to be up there while this gets out of the way. Hmm, yeah, right now I'm just like testing what the options are at this point. Uh, they're not amazing. Oh gosh. Okay, <clears throat> do I definitely think I need all three? I think I definitely need all three. I, I think I, I think I think I definitely need all three because how else is this happening? If I push a crate in, we're stuck. And it's not like I have enough blocks that I could be outside here. Okay, so if I push in enough, if I push ice in, it keeps going until it stops and I need to stop one earlier. If I push it right, which I can't do. So, okay, so if I push it left, I could make it hit me, but then I'd be in here and that'd be a problem. I need all three blocks. Unless I can do two blocks here and then somehow do something with this, which I can't. Right. Right. I need all three blocks somehow. Somehow. <laughs> if you go in there, you're never coming out. That's the rule, right? Because you have to be pushed down. Nothing is there to push you down. Therefore, the ice has to be there. Okay, so doing that is definitely bad. Can I get ice on there without... Um, I guess I can do like this and it'll stop early. That's not great. What is it? Maybe it's great. It's not great. Oh, now I can get the ice back out. Okay. Like to get the ice to stop on the X, I'd have to 
be able to nudge down from here or push down from here, which I cannot. So it feels like you have to go on there and somehow I have to get this out. But I can't because it closes. How do I stop that from closing? I, or how do I like get it back on there? Some of these maneuvers are interesting, but they don't lead anywhere. I totally feel like there's some way of getting these back though. Do I? You go left. You can't go down. Hmm. Hmm. Am I being silly? Maybe I'm being silly. Then go left. No, this is just this situation again. And then that's stuck. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It's funny how how few steps I have after all the undoing and stuff. I only had twenty six steps. No, I'm at zero. If I'm doing anything with that crate in there, maybe I'm not bringing that crate out. I'm definitely bringing that crate out. But then, okay, hold on. I did a thing at the beginning that I just then abandoned. Why did I do that? Why did I abandon that idea? The idea of like putting, well, because I lose this crate. That's why. Do I have to lose that crate? No, I could be standing there. Huh. Am I being silly? I think I might be being silly. You were there, you were there, you were there. Oh, this is totally what I'm doing. You're going in, but I don't lose that crate. That's all I needed. That is all I needed. Uh, oh, okay, hold on, go back in. Okay, oh, I had the right idea first and I abandoned it. <laughs> That's definitely it, we've got all the things. We can just do, uh, uh, you know, just do the things. <laughs> Let's do this, I guess. And then this, and put you in there. And then push you in. Oh gosh. Uh, ooh, ooh. Uh, ah, so I need to first do, I think, this. Because doing this while I'm out here is actually is actually totally fine. I think I can get these back while I'm out here. Yeah, easily, right? I'll just do that and then I've got access to them. Lift you up, okay. <laughs> Can't believe I abandoned the right idea. Uh, do I wanna do, like I do need you to come up a little bit more. Uh, how do I wanna do that? If we do this and then Maybe we want to bring you up in that way and then you go down. Yeah, okay. Wait, but I want the block to go in first. Oh, that also doesn't work. Okay, how do I get the ice in that row? That's all I care about. That's fine. That's the, I can do that, right? I can do that here. Do this. Um, bring this down. Wait, no, put you against the top. There we go. That's all I need. Put you against the top. Put this here. Do this. Yes. Okay. Up. You go in. There we go. Now we're done. Ta-da! I am strong man. Hey! <laughs> Whew! Imagine, if I just stuck with my original idea, that would have felt like a really simple puzzle. Uh, but instead, I ended up going down the other path. <laughs> I was just like, it just also seemed like, I think that's one of the things that is quite common in Stephen's puzzle design, is that often there are like red herring branches that are themselves interesting. 
And it's like, oh, like this seems like it could be a, an interesting puzzle. But it's like, no, that entire thing, even though that's interesting, is not at all relevant. I definitely remember that being a thing in Shackle as well. So it's like, if you're going to have red herrings, which is already a, <laughs> a difficult choice, but if you are going to have red herrings, it's almost like they should be like just incredibly uninteresting. So you're like, well, it can't be this, right? Um, but no, here it's like, nope, this entire dead end path is itself like puzzle worthy, basically. Anyway, all right. Wait, that was 287 steps, that's a lot of steps. Well, I guess I did a 359 one as well. All right, next time, maybe we'll go down this little branch over here, because I kind of ran away from it because I was scared, but maybe it's not as bad as I expect. Alrighty, goodbye.